Hey, how's it going everybody? It's RC Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast. And on today's video, we've got your updates on everything Texas Tech football as Joey McGuire, Zach Kitley, and Tim DeRuiter took well, the podium to talk about UT and really what went wrong out in Raleigh against the number 16 North Carolina State Wolfpack. But first, let's give up, you know, just really the biggest update we can possibly give. And that is on Bryce Ramirez, who Joey McGuire opened his presser with by saying he should be back home in Lubbock on Wednesday or Thursday. His parents, both his mom and dad, are out in Raleigh with him with multiple Texas Tech medical staff as well. So really good to hear that he just came out of his second surgery just before uh, Joey McGuire took the media stand out there on Monday afternoon in the 806, but it looks like Bryce Ramirez will be able to head back home to the state of Texas here in the next couple of days. A scary injury for him, but glad to hear he is doing okay, and I'm sure Red Raider Nation is as well. Now, really the biggest thing at this press conference, my takeaways was one thing, and it's going to be the majority of this video, and it's going to talk about the primary position on the football field. It's the quarterback, and uh, you get the Tyler Shuck update, that's where Joey McGuire went first with really everything in this press conference. I believe it was Jared Johnson of Inside the Red Raiders who asked about a Tyler Shuck update. And we found out that Tyler Shuck did actually go under the knife. There was a plate inserted into his shoulder. Not the same spot that he had the shoulder injury last year, but a plate was inserted to accelerate healing. Joey McGuire said that they hope to have Tyler Shuck back by the Oklahoma State game, but did say that it is a possibility that he is back after the bye week when they welcome in Graham Harrell and the West Virginia Mountaineers to the 806. So you have that. But the biggest thing for me is coming down to this quarterback competition. And Joey McGuire has been adamant about it. I'll give him that. That he has said, hey, there's going to be a quarterback competition when fall camp started. There's going to be a quarterback competition now that uh, Tyler Shuck is out. He named Donovan Smith the starter. My question now is, why do they continuously say, hey, we want to use both quarterbacks when you really don't? And I get there's a strategical advantage to that where you make the other team really have to watch film and everything like that, albeit limited film on Baron Morton at this point. But what, what is that really doing, I guess, is really my thought process here. Um, because you said you wanted to play Baron Morton during Houston. He played one snap and he was a blocker. He obviously played against NC State for about, eh, mostly a quarter, if we're being honest about it. Um, apparently, Donovan Smith may have tweaked his ankle, but Joey McGuire said he'll be fine, and he really wanted to actually see Baron Morton in this situation. He threw a pick. Donovan Smith threw a couple as well. But I guess for me in all of this, it comes back to this Tyler Shuck comment that he made. And I want to make sure I get this right because I'm not trying to throw um, Joey McGuire under the bus. I don't think... Anybody's trying to do that. I think we just want clarification when it comes to the quarterback um, competition or just really the position in general at Texas Tech right now. And I get that that's a little difficult because Tyler Shuck is injured. But this is what Joey McGuire had to say on the quarterback situation when Tyler Shuck returns. He says, we will open it back up to the competition um, or to a competition at quarterback. And to me, that's puzzling because every quote that you heard from Zach Kitley, Joey McGuire, about Tyler Shuck when he was named starting quarterback. The one that really stands out to me was Zach Kitley, where he said everybody knew pretty much right away Tyler Shuck was going to be the starting quarterback for this team. This, that, and the other. Um, you could just tell by the way he carried himself in the building, the way that he knew the playbook, the way that he handled himself on the practice field and was a leader of men. You know, all the things you want to hear about your quarterback, and I get it. Some of that is coach speak, but at the same time, Tyler Shuck is the most experienced, and I do think he fits this offense the best. Um, if he was your true starting quarterback, and that's what you said he was when fall camp ended, why is he not your starting quarterback when he comes back? I mean, sure, Donovan Smith, Baron Morton, whoever's playing quarterback the most these next couple weeks. Um, I ex fully expect it to be Donovan Smith, by the way. Um, if they go on a little bit of a run, sure, open up the competition. But right now... I mean, it's pretty clear that this should be Tyler Shuck's job, and Tyler Shuck gives Texas Tech the best opportunity to win. And there's some people in my mentions after I say that on Twitter that are like, how do you get behind that logic, Darcy? Well, here's the thing. Tyler Shuck, he's had some two unlucky injuries. Let's be real about that. Let's say hey, not fall on your shoulder anymore. I know I'm making that as a joke right now. 
I apologize for that, but I do think Tyler Shuck would probably steer clear of landing on his shoulder and everything moving forward, right? That's what we need. You need to protect yourself, and he knows that, and he'll get better at it. But when you look at what Texas Tech needs in this offense right now, it needs stability. Tyler Shuck brings stability in a multitude of ways, whether that's leadership, on-field performance, and flat-out experience. That's what you need right now, especially behind an offensive line that if any indication of how this line is going to perform against higher competition against NC State and Houston, you're in a world of trouble. Now, you will get Weston right back. According to Joey McGuire, he was on the uh, bike and looks like he'll come back from his ankle injury against UT. But I don't think this is a one guy fixes the whole offensive line issue. You do get to move Jacoby Jackson to the right guard. They will compete over there now with Landon Peters. But I mean, overall, I think Tyler Shuck just brings that stability to the quarterback position. I don't understand the whole concept of, hey, it's going to be a competition once he returns, especially with the way that these two young quarterbacks have played. I mean, Donovan Smith has been outstanding at the highest of the highs, but also, I mean, at times it looks like he can't read a defense. Baron Morton has had some really athletic plays and a couple of nice throws, but he also has two interceptions that, you know, one of them was definitely his fault. The other one, probably miscommunication between the wide receiver and him. So you look at the situation and overall what Texas Tech needs. Your run game has been limited. Your pass game was really been stifled except for the fact that you just had to throw because your offensive line can't run block right now. For me, it feels like Tyler Shuck is the clear quarterback moving forward. Um, and I asked over on my Twitter, be sure to go follow me at RCMB323 over there. And really, I'm making this video just to kind of get my thoughts out there because I don't know if there is a right answer. This is just my opinion on things um, and what I watch on the football field. And by no means am I um, as educated in the world of football and X's and O's as Zach Kitley and Joey McGuire. Um, but I'd like to think I'm a little smart at football, just a little bit. I promise, again, not in their league, but I think that there's some things that you can just see while watching the game if you're a football enthusiast that, hey, Tech should probably take advantage of that whether that's you know using the middle of the field more, not throwing outside the numbers as much because the ball takes forever to get out there and you're getting a lot of pressure on the outside by these teams when it comes to their corners. Also, it takes a while to get out there and there's a pass rush on the outside and they just have to stick their hand up and deflect the ball. You've seen that a couple times. So I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to feel about this right now. And by no means has this changed expectations for this team this year. I think this team going two and one was... That's what you wanted. I think that's realistically all you can ask for. And I think it's kind of crazy that Texas Tech was even in this game considering how many turnovers they had. They had four to four turnovers to one. I mean, they, they, they have to be better with that. Zach Kittley even mentioned it and said, hey, we have to be better when it comes to interceptions. It's that simple. He mentioned that ball carriers have been great in terms of holding on to the football when they have it in their hands. But when it comes to interceptions, they've been bad. Um, and I think that that's very easy to see. But um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to get everybody's takes on this. I wanted to put a video out there to really get the comment section going in terms of hearing y'all's thoughts, because for me, there's a lot of question marks at the position that you don't want a lot of question marks at in the, you know, hearing the coaches say over and over again, that we want to get these quarterbacks involved. Both of them is starting to go towards that direction of, okay, this isn't good because I was on board with it in the sense that hey, you should have your best athletes on the field as much as possible. But the way that it's happening and what we've seen at the quarterback position from really both of them, obviously more so Donovan Smith than Baron Morton just because he's had the opportunity to play more, it's starting to get to that area where it's like, okay, what's really going on here and why is this clearly not Tyler Shuck when he comes back? Um, maybe there's more to it than that. But that's just kind of my opinion. Again, let me know down in the comments what you think. Be sure to hit that big red button and, and subscribe to the best Texas Tech channel right here on YouTube. We're giving you daily videos. We're trying to interact with you guys as much as possible and really hear y'all out and bring up topics in videos and on the podcast that y'all want to hear about. So again, I'm R.C. Maxfield. Follow me over on Twitter. I love talking Texas Tech football and really just Texas Tech athletics in general over on Twitter. It's at RCMB. 323 if you don't follow me already and be sure to hit that big red button to stay in the know on texas tech athletics all year long right here on the back to 12 podcast channel